unleash the magic of space portals in Oriel Engine Niagara. Dive into the depth of interstellar realms as we reveal the secrets behind creating captivating time warping effects inspired by Doctor Strange. Harness the power of dynamic particles and defy the laws of physics to craft mind-bending portals that will leave your audience spellbound. Step into a world of limitless possibilities and take your projects to new dimensions with Unreal Engine Niagara's mesmerizing space portals effects. Get ready to transcend reality and embark on an extraordinary journey through the cosmos. Alright, as we did in the previous episodes, let's delete the existing Niagara system and create a new one. And I'm going to select the simple Sprite Burst template and let's add it to our project and name it as NS underline. For example, portal fire would be okay. And let's double click on it. And here we have the Niagara system. Okay, in this Niagara's editor window, the first step is to change the processor from CPU to GPU to handle large number of particles. And after that, let's change the loop behavior from once to infinite. And after that, let's delete this sprite burst instantaneous. And instead of that, I'm gonna use this spawn rate and let's set it on, for example, 15,000 would be okay. After that, let's take a look to this initialize particle module and in this lifetime mode, let me change this mode to random and I'm gonna set the minimum lifetime to something like 0.7 and the maximum lifetime to, for example, two would be okay. And let's change this sprite size mode to random uniform. And again, the minimum size of particles from 0.5 to 2.2. And after that, Let's add the shape location module to our Niagara system. It's right here. And now you're able to see the particles in a sphere shape. Let's change it to Taurus, for example. Yes, let's take a look to viewport and see the shape of the particles. And I'm going to set the larger radius to 110 and handle radius to one. And now we added a ring shape to the particles, but let me just change the rotation mode to axis angle and I'm gonna set the Y to one. And you can see that the ring is faced to the camera of the viewport. So let's continue and add some cool forces to the particles. But before that, let me change the color of these particles to something like orangish and i'm going to make them brighter like that and it is time to add some forces the first force is the curl noise force that we are already familiar with that we have used this force in the previous episodes of this series and I'm going to change the mode of noise strength from static to random rage float. And let's set the minimum to 800 and maximum to, for example, 1500. And you can see that we have added some variation to the particles, but let me just decrease the noise frequency to control them a bit. And after that, I'm gonna make a copy of this force. And in the second curl and noise force, let's set the minimum strength to 200 and the maximum to something like 2000 to have more variation. And after we have done with that, I'm going to add another force, vortex velocity. So let me search for it. And here we have the force. Let's click on it and Let's take a look to the details of this force. I'm going to change the velocity amount from static to random range float again. And let's set the minimum to, for example, 900 to 1800. And let's see the results. I think it would be better to increase the vortex amount a bit to 1200 minimum to 3200 maximum. Yes. And then let's set this vortex axis on Y. So 
I'm going to set the Y axis on one and set the Z axis on zero. And now you can see that we have kind of rotating particles on a circular path, like a hole or a portal. So, and after that, we need to add another force, point attraction. This force is amazing. And let me just set appropriate amount for its parameters. Just like the most of the times, I'm going to change the traction strength from static to random range float. And let's set the minimum to 100 and maximum to 160. And I'm going to set the traction radius to 300. And now we are so close to our desired results. And we've created such a cool portal effect, but I think we need to tweak on some parameters. Let me see and double check on them. For example, let's increase the strength of the second curl and noise. Looks good, but let's check it in our project. So I'm gonna add it to the scene. Let's place it to some appropriate location. For example, a bit further, and in my opinion, we can do it better. We can make it more attractive. So let's go back to the Niagara's editor window, and let's double check on the curl noise force again. And you know what? I am going to set this pan noise field on the second curl and noise effect, and let's set the X axis to one, and there we go. Let's compile it and go back to the project. And as we step back from the cosmic gateway we've created with Unreal Engine Niagara, remember that the power of portals lies not only in their visual impact, but in the stories they unravel and the emotions they evoke. It's your turn now to unleash your creativity and transport your audience to unimaginable realms. With every shimmering rift and pulsating wormhole, let your imagination guide you to new frontiers of possibility. Until our path is converge again, keep exploring, keep pushing the boundaries, and keep crafting unforgettable journeys through the fabric of time and space. Farewell, fellow adventurers.